Nutrient film technique, also called NFT, is a popular method of hydroponic growing. At first glance of the systems that I use, it looks like I'm using NFT, but I'm actually not, at least in its purest form. So let me explain. With NFT, you have several rails and they're on a decline. Then you have a pump that pumps water and nutrient solution up to one side of the rails. Then the water travels down the rails, down the decline. There's a thin film of water flowing along the bottom of the rail. The plant roots pull water and nutrients from this film, yet still have access to the air to receive oxygen. NFT has a lot of great applications, but for what I'm doing growing indoors, I've chosen not to use it, and I have four reasons why. Number one, it's hard to start seedlings. Since NFT relies on a thin film of water flowing down the, down the rails, it's difficult to keep the seedlings moist without sweeping them away at the same time. So a lot of times with an NFT system, growers will have a separate system where they start the seedlings and then move the plants into the system once they're a little bit more mature. That's fine for a larger operation, but when we're growing in our home, we want something simple. Having a separate system just for seedlings adds unneeded complexity. Number two, NFT doesn't maximize space. NFT systems generally have all the plants spaced out equally. That's fine when we're outside and we have free sunlight and lots of space, but when we're trying to make the most of the space that we have indoors, we want to have the smaller plants closer together and the larger plants farther apart, making use of all of the lighting. Number three, they're susceptible to spills. NFT systems are often designed with rails that dump into an open channel as the return line, and this can be susceptible to spills or splashes. When we're growing indoors, we want to be as watertight as possible. Number four, they're vulnerable to power loss. NFT relies on a continuous supply of water and nutrients traveling down the rails. So if for whatever reason the pump quits or power is lost, the plants will lose that supply of water and nutrients within seconds and be vulnerable to damage. So what do I use instead? I like to use a hydroponic rail system that has a lot of similarities to NFT systems. In fact, a lot of the people that come across my channel and see the design assume that it's an NFT system. However, they have a few key differences. With my systems, the rails are placed on a level surface instead of a decline, and the rails contain more than just a thin film of water. These systems have several advantages over a classic NFT system. Number one, it allows for seedlings. Instead of a thin film of water like we have with NFT, my systems have the capability to control the water level based on the height of the exit fitting in each rail. This allows us to have a water level that's high enough to touch the bottom of the seedlings and keep them moist as they're germinating. With these systems, I can drop a newly planted seedling into the system and it can stay in the system all the way until it's ready to harvest. Which leads to the second advantage, it maximizes space. Small seedlings are placed close together to begin with and gradually spaced further apart as they mature, making the best use of space and light. Number three, these systems are spill resistant. Rail connections are sealed, making these systems very robust and resistant to splashes and spills. Number four, plants can survive days if power is lost. If the pump is stopped, some nutrient solution will remain in the bottom of the rails, keeping the plants going in the event of a power loss or pump failure. If you want to check out my rail system design, I put together a free guide on how to build the system just like this, and that's at my website, simplegreenshydroponics.com. I'll also put a link in the description. And also, I am experimenting with a new design that incorporates NFT, but mitigates a lot of the disadvantages I talked about but I'll talk about that in a future video.